the scorecard module on one file is designed to allow you to reflect on your development on whichever learning program you're on. So essentially the scorecard is a self-reflective tool. Once you open it up, it will show you each of the knowledge, skills and behaviours or each of the competencies which make up your qualification and it will ask you to give yourself a score from 1 to 10 and you should answer that score, you should create that score by thinking about your overall development. The scoring key will be displayed on the scorecard. It can be set up differently depending on the training provider, but generally speaking, one would be I am not competent about this thing, I don't know anything about it and I'm really not confident for it, whereas 10 is I am an expert, I do this all the time and I don't need to think about it. So basically what the scorecard is looking for you to do is to think, you know, how confident am I about that particular competency? And so with this, there is no right and wrong answer. Uh, really, it depends on, on you. And the idea is that at the start of your qualification, uh, this should all be fairly new to you, because otherwise, why would you be doing the qualification? So it's usually, um, learners would score themselves fairly low uh, on the competencies initially, and then they will repeat the scorecard. This is something that will be set up, uh, typically set up as a task every three months for you to complete and it plots on a graph and so over time you will see your confidence as increase as your competency increases and you can see here on this graph that that's what will, what will be plotted. Now this particular learner has only done one scorecard but if they were to do another scorecard you'd see it on that graph and ideally it would be an increasing uh, line, it would be going further up to the top right to show that that learner has improved their so to access the scorecards, there's a couple of, couple of different ways you can do this. First of all, you can select on score, scorecard on the left-hand navigation bar. That's one of the ways you can access it. If your tutor has set this up for you as a task, you would go to your task list, select on the scorecard task, and it would take you in to this module. So to do it, we'll select on the scorecard option, and we'll go into the first competency, and this is what it looks like. So this is for the Team Leader Apprenticeship, and this is the first knowledge competency for the Team Leader Apprenticeship. Now, also your competencies will be different if you're doing a different qualification, but nevertheless, you want to read that competency, and you want to think, you know, how confident am I to do that thing in the workplace? Okay, And then you give yourself a score from 0 to 10. And you can see there, as you hover over the numbers, it indicates uh, what that number would be. So one is you don't have any... Um, experience, competency or conference on this one. One is foundation, four um, through to six is strong, and then seven to nine is advanced, and finally ten is an expert. There's also a sort of guide here. If you hover over the need help to score option, it should tell you, and again, train providers set this up differently, so the text may be different, and um, it'll give you some hints as to how to give a, a score on, on this one. So what you should do is then select the score that you want to give and it also would give you the option to create a learning journal entry as well if you wish. Once you've done this, select next. It's worth mentioning if you have done this previously, it will have your previous score listed there and you can sort of see the difference, right? If this is the first time you've completed this, obviously there wouldn't be a previous score there. So you want to work your way through all of the competencies. So keep selecting next till you get to the end. One of the common issues with the scorecard module is that once you get to the end, you can't finish it. It doesn't, there's no option to like submit it, okay? And this is because what you'll probably find is that somewhere you may have missed a competency. You know, you might have thought, well, maybe I'll come back to this one once I've been through them all so I can have more of a thing, thing for it. But it does not let you submit the scorecard until you've given a score for all of the competencies. So if it doesn't let you submit it, run back through them. If you click back, uh, back to scorecard, you can see uh, the scores that you've given. And if any of these, the current box, if that's blank, if any of these options are blank, it means you've not given a score. So you need to select on that one. Um, so let's say it's this one. Select on it. Select a score. And then once you've done it, if that was the last one, a blue box would appear at the bottom of the screen around this area. And it'll say submit scorecard. So just select the submit scorecard to complete this task. Uh, and that is uh, essentially how scorecards work on one file.